Hi, hello everyone, Carrie here for United We Game, and I am back with another episode of Nostalgic Notions here with the Midway Arcade Treasures for the GameCube. Nostalgic Notions is our game series where we play through about 15 minutes of a classic game. More if we like it, or less if we really don't. And believe me, <laughs> sometimes we do not. <laughs> because that's how things go with games like this. All right. So let's see, I am on the, now the latter half of this um, series of eight videos. So this is episode number five. And as I've been doing with this particular compilation, I have been choosing a game at random each week to play from it. And so this week is not going to be any different. I have all the names of the games from this game <laughs> uh, written on little slips of paper and they're hanging out in my mug here. So I am now going to pick a single one and this week, ooh, who gets to go? But, but, <gasps> Defender! <laughs> Woohoo! A game that I have actually spent some time with, <laughs> or had, or did, or whatever in the past, actually played. That's exciting because so far I've been getting games that I'm either mildly familiar with or not familiar with at all. However, I can say in all certainty that I have played Defender because we had Defender for the Atari way back when. So this will be <laughs> an exciting return. <laughs> oh, I wish I wish I could say that with uh, I wish I could really be positive about it. But but let's go look Defender, the original Defender right here. Wow, okay, so playing this on the GameCube, and we have, oh my goodness, what a goofy set of, um, <laughs> of buttons. Like literally, me playing this was like the, the one, the joystick, like one, one joystick, one button. Not all of this mess. <laughs> all right, well, let's see what we can do here. Let's start the game. Oh, yeah. Sure does sound like Defender. Yep, there we go. 1980. Wow, that was a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Defender. And the goal of the game is to not do that. But that's usually, like, starting out Defender, that's usually what I would do. There we go. Get moving there. Is to, the goal of Defender is to defeat aliens and save your people who are hanging out there in the bottom uh in the on the ground <laughs> and you have what do i have i can change direction i could go hyperspace i can die very easily okay but <laughs> anyway these little guys these little aliens they want to take your people away and you have to stop them and try to save there we go I saved, I saved a person and then I died. You want to save your people and um, usually do a little bit better than what I just did, which was not good. But you can go back and forth, you know, all around, <laughs> around the screen. And the top of the screen, you see there's a little, it's kind of like a little guide that shows you what's going on, where your people are at the bottom and it shows you where the aliens are in space. Oh no! So we wanna we wanna get uh, we don't wanna shoot the person, but like I just did there, and I ended up dead. So that that's not how you play Defender. So we're gonna call this video "How Not to Play Defender." I, I think we can all agree upon that. He saves no, it saved him. Oh, he died. I let him die. I'm sorry, random person, random human. <laughs> the catch with Defender. And one of the things that makes it both uh, maddening and fun is that is, 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 is actually just controlling your ship and avoiding because uh, controlling your ship and avoiding the little shots that come from the alien creatures, right? Which are rather random and <laughs> which are rather random. And the thing is, is that the ship... The ship sort of slides through space. 
Now there's a problem as if you've played, you know, platform games, Mario games, there's a problem with sliding in that game. In very, actually, most of the Mario games I've played have a problem with Mario feeling particularly slippery on his platforms and not feeling like you have a really good grip. Well, it's the same, kind of the same thing here, except in this case, it's a ship that feels like it's just, because you thrust and then you just keep going, right? You just keep going in that run direction until you stop, which is okay, but, but it can make, uh, it can make moving it within the space very challenging. I stink. I stink. I stunk at this game way back in the day and looks like I'm doing just about as well as I could now and I'm sorry I let that guy plummet to his death. I'm gonna try, try to not do that. With <laughs> try to make it through a wave for heaven's sakes. I have not played Defender since. Oh my goodness. You know what? I really don't even know. It would have to be like... Uh, uh, well, huh. Let's see. We got our Atari system in the mid-80s. It came with a bunch of games. Not all of them were good games. Ah! Uh, it came with a bunch of games, old and new. Oh, jeez. You are just evil! Um, so yeah, mid 80s. I mean, it's, what is it, 2016? Oh, we're talking like a decade and decade plus. Well, oh my God, well over a decade. Um, if that, if, if not, God, it's come, it would have to be coming on like two decades. Oh, which is really ter terrifyingly scary. And you're not supposed to be a sitting duck. So, <laughs> I really enjoyed playing Defender as a kid, and I think one of the problems with playing it now is simply is really just overthinking what's going on, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that when I played the game ages ago, like, I would just go, you know, go and capture and try to shoot, and I wouldn't necessarily try to maneuver um, except to get out of the way of stuff now that was a terrible way to save your humans but see like as I'm trying <laughs> trying <laughs> as I'm actually trying to hit something it's not working um, but when I just sort of Forget about the fact that I actually have to shoot my way through this game. You know, it becomes a bit more fun. Uh, I, I I say that lightly. Fun. And no. And no. <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to tell you, like, how far I got in this game. When I actually knew how to play it. <laughs> uh... Uh, probably not very far, but, you know, at the time it really wasn't about, like, a game like this would have been just me wasting time much more than me wanting to become great at Defender. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that at the time when I was heavily playing Atari that any sort of mastery of of these games was in my uh, in my lexicon it was really just i have some time let's play a game it, it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't let's become really good at <laughs> let's become really good at saving humans from aliens it just wasn't it wasn't even let's become really good at mario it was just like well let's play a game you know and I think to a certain degree, I've missed that with games. Uh, trying to return to just sort of... To, to a time when... To a, ti to a time. To a situation where what I do in a particular game, or whatever game it may be, 
that the goal is to not become, you know, master of the game, but really just to have fun with it. And I think a while ago on our website, wegameunited.com, on our blog, we actually um, did a project where we played, you know, we revisited, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> we revisited um, what were supposedly, or what we called our favorite games. And that project was super interesting for me because at the time, and I, you know, I, I was thinking about what, how, you know, how I wanted to approach gaming in, you know, a life where I don't really have a lot of time to play games. And over the past, uh, probably two or three years, you know, I haven't, I, I just, <laughs> I just don't have as much time to play as I used to. And the question when I do have time to play becomes simply what do I want to, not only what do I want to play, but what do I want to get out of the game that I'm playing? What purpose does it, should it serve? Because my time is so limited, I want to feel like, you know, I'm accomplishing something, even if it's just through playing a game. But that manner of thinking when it comes to games is extremely stressful. <laughs> because part of, uh, part of <laughs> the whole situation there was, well, I should play through my backlog. I should play through all these games that I never got a chance to play. And, you know, because it's the right thing to do. I paid money for these games and I'm not playing them. That is true. However, there's definitely something to be said for sitting down and playing a game that you really love simply, simply for the sake of, of playing it. And when I played Red Dead Redemption, which I listed you know, on the site is my favorite game. And that's one of my favorite games. And that's, you know, the one I was going to, I'm going to play. Playing through it again, really with an eye towards, you know, is it a good game? Is it an enjoyable game? Is it worth my time? Um, was great. It was really great. Because what I found out was that, yes, it's a, an extremely enjoyable game. It's definitely worth my time. But it's not worth my time to become a red dead master i mean i had you know very little uh i didn't, had no desire <laughs> to become great at red dead redemption what i wanted to do ah uh, was to <laughs> was to have a good time was to make the hours that i played uh, that i spent with the game worthwhile so i found that but that i found that by doing that it has helped me in a sense recapture times that i spent with games like like defender way back when when it was not about being great it wasn't about you know ooh, it wasn't about <laughs> trying to make it through more waves than the next guy ah but rather it was about me sitting down and really enjoying my time with a game. It sounds so simple. It sounds so simple. But in a time where we are now, where, where there are so many games and it's so easy to feel like, you know, because I want to spend, you know, all my time with Defender, I'm missing out on, you know, all these great new games or I, you know, I'm, here playing the GameCube. Shouldn't I be playing the PS4 or the Xbox One because we have it? <laughs> you know, isn't that really what, what's worth my time these days? And the answer is no. What's worth my time is what brings me the most joy. And Defender right now is not bringing me much joy. <laughs> and I'm not sure about rambling on about life in general, but there you go. Um... <laughs> There you go. With Defender and me years ago, it was not about being great. And I can't, the problem is, is that I'm not, <laughs> I feel like I'm just not, 
I'm not quick enough. I, you know, I probably, I thought my reflexes were terrible and they are, they're rotten. Now, of course, I've been avoiding the, the ground, so to speak, because in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm going to hit the ground and I'm going to, uh, <laughs> I'm going to slam into the ground. But no, that's not the case at all. That's not the case at all. Oh, I have seen people play Defender really well. It is so impressive. And, um, yay, saved somebody. I actually did something good for a change. Uh, and I put him back. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. It only took me, oh, almost 15 minutes to figure that out. <laughs> well, there you go. And I shot him. And nope, and nope. All right, we're going to run through this set of lives. And then that's about all. There's not, uh, there's a lot, there's, is there more to Defender? Yes, the aliens get harder. <laughs> they become more erratic. They become different in style. But, oh, I, I completed one wave and my game was over. Well, look at that. We're at about 15 minutes anyway. So I didn't make it into the Hall of Fame here, but I did get through at least a wave. That's not too bad. <laughs> well, this week's episode of Nostalgic Notions has been bought, brought to you by Life. Enjoy it, because it's the only one you have. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Nostalgic Notions. I'm going to play a little bit here while I sign off. Please, uh, let's see, what am I trying to say? Subscribe, subscribe to the channel if you would. If you like what you saw here, that's wonderful. Give us your, uh, give us a subscription because we like it when people do that. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. And be sure to check out United We Game elsewhere on the internet, on our website, wegameunited.com, on Twitter, at United We Game, and on Facebook, facebook.com backslash wegameunited. I'll see you next week, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.